others there have been less than that. So what Eltham side come to the party tonight? Of course, one thing we should mention is Hayley Adele draws the foul and finishes the two. She'll have an extra one at the free throw line is the James Wheel and Shelby Britton. And it all comes down to tonight where the O'Connor Sukia Cup is played for once again. Inwards to Beck Pizzi comes up with it well. Good body position and finishes for two. Hayley Adele pulls up and then puts it to the floor, has options. They need to present though. Here's one, Beck Pizzi from three. We know she can hit it and there she goes. Beck Pizzi for three. Shelby Britton to inbound here, Liddell makes room and then will collect in the corner. Gets a defender on her back and then drains the two points. If it's not working from three, shoot it from two. Staggall losing touch of it but manages to keep a handle on it. Corinne Campbell off to Liddell, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Looks from three, drains it to Hayley Liddell. She has 10 points into double figures. Eltham lead it by six. Marshall on the floor for Eltham, gives it to Beck Pizzi. Now Liddell on her left hand. Well defended by Burrows, turning and scoring. Eventually gets it passed, and we're in Eltham hands here. Here's Liddell, step back three over Mahardy. Wowzers. So yet to score indeed is Eltham. Will it be Liddell from three? She gets her way into the paint. Well defended by Mahardy. Tries on the right hand, and a really nice touch. Here is Britton. On the left hand, trying desperately to get close enough to the ring. Didn't really get there in the end, but Liddell does well. And the shot clock didn't reset, so she had three seconds to work with. She used every millisecond, and in the end, gets it away for a couple of points. Pizzy now. Cops a little bump there from Burrows. Here's Liddell now spinning one way, then back on the other hand. Really impressive there from Hayley Liddell. It's 19 turnovers so far in the game. Far too many 